what Disney was proposing had never been done, never even been tried, a feature-length, story-driven cartoon. Roy Disney was pretty skeptical about all of this. And the more he thought about it, actually, the more convinced he became that this could be a disaster for the studio because he was afraid that it wouldn't sell, that people wouldn't see it, and it would drag the studio down into bankruptcy. And Roy dug in his heels. Walt would not let it go. He was convinced this century-old Brothers Grimm fairy tale about a virtuous princess chased into a deep, dark forest by her hateful stepmother was a can't-miss proposition. He must have told that story after that first night, you know, a thousand times. People would always say he'd collar them in the hallway and tell the story of Snow White again. He'd have to repeat it again and again and again to keep them energized, to keep himself energized, and to review the film in his head so that it was always rolling. This was obsession. Walt's excitement was catching. We were just carried away, remembered one animator. I would have climbed a mountain full of wildcats to do everything I could to make Snow White. Roy grudgingly came around and managed to shake the money free from their longtime lender, Bank of America. But he warned his brother the bankers were very nervous about this gamble and they expected Walt to stay on schedule and within the agreed upon budget. The schedule, the budget, the company's debt were secondary considerations to Walt, who was preoccupied with a single overriding problem, how to translate his idea to the big screen. Snow White would have to captivate its audience in a way no cartoon ever had before. <laughs> 